This video explains the test method for determining the hydrogen output flow. Hydrogen being the least dense particle known to man is the most difficult substance to monitor its flow rate. Most gas flow meters require a minimum pressure. Our system cannot have any back pressure, therefore inline flow meters cannot be used. Also, flow meters and gas over water method do not distinguish or eliminate other gases including oxygen in the flow and would raise doubts. One advantage of hydrogen is its density, being 14 times lighter than air, will travel upwards at a fast rate. Therefore, a gas over air collection method can be used and has many advantages. One, it is a scientifically proven method. Two, it eliminates other gases in the flow, including oxygen. Three, it does not allow room for doubts over equipment calibration. Four, it is simple and conclusive. The method specifies inserting the gas outpipe into an upside down container. The pipe must be fully inserted into and positioned at the top of the container. When the hydrogen fills the container, being lighter than air, fills the container from the top, pushing the air out through the bottom port. If the container is overfilled, then hydrogen will also escape out of the lower port. Any other gases including oxygen will travel downwards and out the filling port along with the air. Only hydrogen will be captured in the container. This is a logical method that cannot be refuted. A specified sample period will determine how much gas was flowing through the output pipe. For the gas collection, we use internationally recognized 5 liter containers and may occasionally use this 10 liter container. Hydrogen flows from the cell through a bubbler, then out to a three way valve. One direction is up through the sampling pipe, and the other direction is down through a hose vented to the outside air. No, we don't have bottles of gas plugged into the other end of this hose. When the container is placed over the sample pipe, we change the valve over to that direction. A light counts in seconds informing the operator to change over the valve at the end of the required sample time. To determine the level of hydrogen in the container, we insert a MQ8 hydrogen sensor into the port of the container. A reading over 3.5 volts indicates the level of the hydrogen layer is 98% pure. You may wish to verify this in the MQ8 data sheet. We also have an MQ8 sensor on the extended pole used to prove there is no hydrogen in the container before the sample. After each sample, we fully blow out all the containers with compressed air and store it in a refrigerator to cool the inside air. We do this because the gas at the output pipe is about 35 degrees Celsius and would expand and overflow out the port giving a low inaccurate reading. The cold air in the container will instantly cool and retain the warm gas. After the sample take, we let the container rest for three minutes, allowing the gas to settle at room temperature. When we remove the port cap, the pressure or vacuum in the container equalizes ready to measure the level in the container. In the test video clips, we time shift the test window so you don't have to wait the full three minutes, but can still keep a view of the containers. We utilize an eight channel CCTV surveillance recording system with timestamp on each channel to eliminate concerns over possible trick photography. Now that the test method has been explained, we invite you to view one of the actual performance test videos located on this channel or listed on our website.